Page 17, when the saints go marching in. In this lesson, they're introducing you to another symbol called a tie. It's a curved line between two notes. The line can be above the notes or below the notes. That's not important, but it's, it connects two notes. Now what it means is it ties them together. So you play the first note and you hold it down for the length of both notes. Now there's a different reason for using ties, but the biggie, the main reason we need it, is because we have a, a problem built in with a lot of problems. So the one I'm referring to in music is that a note can only last so long. There's a limit. You see, according to the time signature, you only have a certain number of beats in a measure. So let's say 4-4 four, four time. If quarter note gets a count, 4-4 four, four time, then the longest note we can have is a whole note, because that's four quarter notes, that's four counts. You can't go longer than four, because the measure is over now. you got to go on. So the tie lets us get around that, where we can tie the notes together, and you can ha hold the note down longer than four, as long as you need to. In Saints Go Marching In, you see the whole note there, hit G. It's tied to a quarter note. So you're going to hold that note down for five counts total. And that's just the way ties work. Just, just remember to hold it down for the length of both notes. And later on, when it, the rhythm gets tricky, and I'll show you some hints on how to handle ties then. But this shouldn't be too difficult, I'm hoping. Now those curved lines are used for several other things. A few other things too many other things. It gets confusing as to, you get curved lines all over everywhere and say, okay, now what's what's going on? And you have to stop and figure it out. We'll get there. We'll talk about it. Just right now, we're dealing with a curved line. You can only tie two notes together. You can't do three or more. If you have three or more you want to tie together, you have to do it two notes at a time. You chain them together. And that would tell you, hold the first note down for the length of the whole chain there. And it has to be the same note, because if you change notes, it's not tied anymore. It's a different note. So let's look at this Saints thing and see what we got. It's just one staff here. Treble clef, so we're going to use right hand, although in theory you could use either hand to play this. 4-4 four, four time signature, and the first measure only has three counts in it, so it's a pickup measure. We're coming in on beat two. That means beat one is someplace else, and if you look at the end, you'll see the last measure only has one count in it. Isn't that nice? I see a bunch of quarter notes and whole notes, half notes, dotted half notes. Oh, we got everybody here, don't we? Yeah. Okay. So let's see what we got here. The right hand, you're starting with thumb here. So we're in C position. And it's two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one. Two. See, it's tied. Sometimes I say tie. One, two, three, four, tied. Just, that's... One, two, three, four. They have the little X marks. Those are like percussion because there's no pitch. If you want to snap the fingers or clap something, you can do that if you want to do that while you're playing. Try that, snap your fingers, whatever, I don't care. I want to point out in the third line at the end. The last measure is here. It's a dotted rhythm, and the short note comes first. Remember, the dotted half note's the same as three quarter notes. So in four, four time, it gets three counts. So it's one, two, three, four, tie two. It's tied to a half note. So you're still going to hold it down for five counts. One, two, three, four, one, two. Now they don't show any articulation. The dynamic they're giving is loud as a happy piece. You decide what loud is, just loud. Don't get carried away. And the uh, natural accents. So the first three that you want to go on to here. You want to, you want to feel that. The 
natural accents. I'm exaggerating them so you can hear them better. You just want to feel these. So the listener knows those are not, that you didn't start the, at the beginning of a measure. They, their pickups go on to here. Go up to here, it leads into it. Flows into it, yeah. Speed, they don't give a speed, you pick a speed. It's a happy piece though. Kind of a march, left, right, left, right. Left, right, left. Left, right, left. Somewhere in there. In my opinion, it wouldn't hurt to do this with the left hand too. You can gum up here. You can start with a little finger. If you'd like. Or pretend middle C's down here. Just go down a C and play it down here. Just for the practice. So you learn it that when you're ready with no hesitations, come back to the video. Let's play it together slowly and check everything. I'll give us five counts now because a full four counts, it's in four four time, plus one more because we come in on beat two. One, two, three, four, go. One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one. Two, three, four. One, two, four. One, two, three, four. One. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four, one, off.